It's an absolute honour to be here today, you know, especially in this office. I can't wait to get out there tonight and go out in this opening ceremony. You know, I've trained 18 years and a lifetime of hard work has gone into all culminating into this one event and I'm absolutely ecstatic about it. Uh, and you did Beijing as well. How I did. does it compare? It, you know, it's just comp it's so much better in every different way. I mean, I'm going to have to say I'm a London boy born and bred, so to have the games in my home city with all my family and friends coming to watch, it's just so vibrant. I mean, I was very fortunate to go into Beijing and compete there, but I didn't feel like it was my village. I walked into the village two days ago and thought, this is my place, this is my village. And I just felt like everybody there was backing me up. Uh, how much does home advantage count? Uh, to, to me, it's huge. I mean, I, I really, really, you know, get my vibes out of a, a humongously electric atmosphere. Um, so having 15,000 screaming British people is going to be absolutely amazing for me. I know some people might let that get to them, but that, that's definitely not me. You know, the Olympics is about going and performing to the best of your ability to the whole world. And that is exactly what I'm here to do. And if I, if I can use the crowd to my advantage, I'm going to do it. And what's life like in the village? It's fantastic. It's vibrant, it's noisy, there's loads of food, there's so many things to do, there's arcades you can do, absolutely anything you want. I haven't got much hair about, to be honest, but I nearly went and ordered a haircut the other day because it's free. So yeah, crazy stuff. I've got a facial book for Sunday, so I can't wait to get in there. It's so much fun, man. There's so many things you can do. And very briefly, one word, are you going to win it for us? Absolutely.